Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. For those of you who are early to the party, we will be starting up soon. Just setting things up on my end. I really should get a choker or something. Probably work better than than my current setup. Let's see now. Get the avatar back up here. And leave motion settings. Position chest. Where is my Okay. There's my collarbone. And it's right beneath my collarbone. now actually this is fairly accurate it rec should be recording where my no that's a let's re reduce it slightly negative 10 what about Negative six. So now. What about here? There. That's really accurate. Mirror mono. Hey Ace, how are you today? That's weird. Why hasn't Siri bot started yet? I wonder if it's being slow. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. I'm just uh, readjusting my lead motion camera because the original holders I had for it have failed. They have snapped in two. I tried using the same one for a while, but it has also it has failed completely this time, both arms. I'll either have to order a new one or just get used to, get used to using the uh, standard clip. I'm doing okay. 
I was a little bit worried. I did not get much sleep last night, so I was a little bit worried that I was coming down with something. I might still be, but I'm trying to avoid having to go to a doctor if possible, if at all possible. Which I know, coming from someone who works in healthcare, is such a terrible thing to do, but, you know. The holders were just 2D printed, yeah. Hmm, <laughs> you oh shit control you i expected it. they lasted pretty long i would say seven months six months or so no good good uh six months or so but still kind of disappointed they snapped on me thanos snaps like <laughs> here we go Go ahead and lock this really quick. Cam lock. Um, something I want to do later is to put more options for throwable items so that you can throw more than one item in the future. Doesn't need to be done right now though. For right now, we have a game to play. Man is a man. America is a brutal place for workers. Eh? Uh, yeah. It's kind of a joke here that it's kind. Of, well, it's not really a funny joke, but. The rates of people dying here in this country from overwork is very high, is pretty high. Um, we still have, I would still say that we're better off um, worker-wise than some Slavic states. But a lot of the things that some European countries have, like um, their mandatory vacation days and whatnot, we, we don't have any of that here. I was under the impression, I thought it was a federal law to guarantee breaks and stuff like that but apparently it's not i've um i was not aware also they're working at the gas station gas stations and other um really blue collar jobs like that really high turnover jobs tend to have the worst benefits or lack thereof and yeah the gas station would still have better benefits than a fast food restaurant believe it or not Put on my headphones. <laughs> we actually do have very strict labor laws in... At least I thought we had... I thought we had strict labor laws, but I'm now a B or now BP's exper Nidhogg's exper sets experiences having me do a double take. Maybe the law the maybe the laws that I saw that I thought were federal were actually state because in my former replacement employment, there's this big poster with your rights as an as with your labor rights post on it. And it's required to be posted in all common areas and places of business. So I was very su surprised by. Uh, yeah, comparatively to Canada, I doubt our labor laws are all that good. Ah. The Fair Labor and Standards Act establishes a minimum wage, overtime pay, record keeping, and youth employment standards affecting employees in the private sector and federal, state, and local governments. So, huh. Okay. So I guess the FLSA only really applies to minimum wage and overtime pay and um, keeping minors from being exploited. I assume, I thought it also includes stuff like breaks and guaranteed lunch, but uh, that does not appear to be the case. Pretty much. Um, you know, it's okay. actually, this also brings up another point. Um, it's a fairly common thing here in the States to see people that work multiple jobs. Um, and while many times this has to do with the minimum wage, it also has to do with the fact that a lot of jobs, in order to prevent, in order to save costs, will intentionally not hire employees full-time, 40 hours. They'll schedule you for like 32 or 36. 
and if you have under 40 hours, you are considered part-time and you have a reduction in guaranteed federal benefits, as you can see here. So that's also a thing that occurs, which is complete bullshit, but, you know, all that capitalism prevails and all that. This doesn't seem right, though. I thought the federal minimum wage was raised, but there was probably, once again, just state by state. I'm pretty sure my state, the uh, minimum the minimum wage is now like eight, like uh, eight bucks or something, maybe 11 bucks. It's, I don't know, it's been a while. Let's see what the... Um, it depends, actually. We, I've, I've been noticing that the United States has a lot fewer protections for people, but has a lot more individual rights than other countries, and the reverse is true in some countries. Um, let me see what the labor standards are for my state. The Department of Labor, Child Labor Laws, Human Rights, Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA Guidelines, Age Discrimination and Employment, and Employment Act of 1967, Title VII, Equal Pay Act of 63, Fair Housing, Fair Prevailing Wage, Occupational Safety and OSHA, Unemployment, Minimum Wage, Workers' Compensation. Oh. Even looking through my own state's laws, all these things refer to pay. They don't refer to things like break and vacation and <laughs> uh, lunch times. Hey, Steel. I'll go. So, the more you know, I guess. All right. For those of you who are here to see me get spooked, we are playing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, which apparently has an update, so we're gonna... Oh, that's that's quick. <laughs> apparently this is also VR already, so I might break out the index to play it in VR sometime, assuming that the base game is not spooky enough as it is. Also, I cannot take it seriously with this intro. This intro is way too... Happy Gory, but then you get this warning flashing lights and violent content and disturbing imagery. Oh no, disturbing imagery. So, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to today's playthrough of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Uh, this is I am Lawler Hicks. You're you are on the Lulz Time Show. I don't know anything about this game. This game was actually suggested to me by chat when I ran a when I successfully garnered or collected over sixty nine thousand NFTs, non fungible to uh, non non fuckable tokens, and I said that they can choose any horror game. All the limits are off. Any horror game to make me play all the way through the end. We had many wonderful choices. Ranging from games for the PS2 to more modern classics like Out, like uh, Outlast, to indie titles such as Darkwood, but Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion won out by a few. So we will be playing that tonight. Um, as y'all know, I do prefer to play games all the way through, if at all possible. There have been a couple times where I've given up on games a little bit earlier than that, but hopefully that will not be the case for Spooky's. Um, also, a word of warning, I actually fucking hate jump scares. Jump scares are the one kind of horror games that I typically don't like, but I'm more of an audio-based... I have more audio-based anxiety than visual anxiety. So if it ever becomes too much of a problem, I could always just lower the volume on my headset so that I'm not as spooked. Oh, Sleepy Hazard, long time no see! How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just... I constantly have to readjust my leap motion camera here. It's always all over the place. Always getting in the way of things, too. 
really starting to miss my um, older uh, leap motion leap motion um, holder thingamajig. But I guess you get what you pay for, right? Alright. Without further ado, let us go ahead and get started. Hey Flan, welcome to the stream. Happy thank you for the happy fly happy pride bit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and max out the uh, graphics on this. 50? We're gonna be using we're gonna be using a FPS level FOV, we're gonna be using 90. Target frame rate, let's drop, let's break, raise it to 144. 146, actually, for my monitor. My monitor can handle up to 147, I think. I do not have epilepsy to my knowledge, but maybe I should reduce the flashing? Nah. Motion blur, volume. Volume is not too high. Okay. <laughs> Doing good. Got a day off. Can't wait to see you get me. See me get scared. Oh, Flan is. Uh, thank you so much for getting for um, for choosing your points for a spooky laugh. We will see who gets scared, either me or the game. <clears throat> One second. Apparently, this game does support a VR headset. Yes. I have not done the VR game in a while, so I might. So they got the VR in future playthroughs to use in this game. But without further ado, allow me to give you a nice spooky laugh. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get started. New game. The Mansion, a renovated version of the original Jump Scare Mansion. Uh, Endless Moon, Brace Infinity, Karar Mari Hospital, Unlock the Secrets, Spooky's Dollhouse, Finish the Story? Hmm. 666 out of- 666? 666 out of 10? Your friend just does a great evil laugh? I would like to meet your friend. Let's play the original here since I don't know what any of these are. I got an achievement already. Interesting. Well, she is fairly adorable. I. I really hope there's not a thousand levels of this game because if you think I'm gonna be playing a thousand levels of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, you, you, you might be right. <laughs> uh, Flan, I would prefer if you don't invite them to the Discord, but inviting them to the stream would be fine. <laughs> can you? You can sprint in this game. Uh, it looks like a burning building. Indeed, I attempted to get a fancy shot of Spooky. Um, other people who I've asked about this game have not refused to give me any details. From the onset, this game does not look that spooky, but I am ready and willing to be proven wrong. Ah, uh, what a shame. Your... Your human, uh, your human mis or misgivings, your hu do not mean anything to an artificial intelligence such as myself. Uh, speaking of which, uh, during the recent collab I had, I got to experience what getting shot with a gun feels like. And my god, how do you humans deal with that? This is almost as, um, it's almost as surprising as learning that humans do not in fact consume blood to live, they just produce their own. I mean... I've never met a robot that produces their own fuel source, but to to imagine humans just like developing growing blood in their bodies is anyway. Let's go uh, go to the right. Hmm. Oh, the sound design is fairly good in this game.
I'm gonna use the volume a little bit of my headset here. The spookiest part of this game is the lack of interior design. Yeah, no kidding, right? Alright, there's bones. Hmm. A rib cage. Some femurs. I was looking down at this carpet earlier and I was wondering if this carpet is supposed to refer to like the in-game map of some kind. Oh, room six? Dang. So there are in fact rooms. Oh, of course. Yes, let's go down a spooky hallway that is dark at the end. Yes, totally. Thanks, game. I'm totally not having an ASMR right now. Just gradually remove, reducing your sense of sight. Is there... I wonder if there's going to be something that jumps out of you here. This seems like a fairly... Um, fairly obvious setup for a trap. They got the dark sec dark end over there, and you got the closer door over here. And psychologically speaking, I'm assuming they're expecting most humans to want to take the shorter routes, right? Y'all think that I'm stupid, right? Huh? Well, I'm gonna take the darker route. How's about them apples? Well, that's unsettling. We're on room 9. Are there really a thousand rooms in this game? I was totally kidding about the whole, oh, I would totally play a thousand rooms of this, you know? Because, hey, dorms, bedroom, these are, I got some bunk beds. I was always jealous of bunk beds in people's houses. I thought it was kind of cool to be able to, like, live on a top floor. I think I missed out on this in college, too. <laughs> Let's see now. Well, well, this does not do anything. <laughs> this music, this uh, sound design really is unsettling, even though it's so simple. Let's see, that's 14 root. Oh, man. Really going after, going for the juggler for people who have claustrophobia, huh, game? Fair, fair enough, fair enough. I'm sure by the end of my playthrough of this game, I'm going to go through pretty much every single possible phobia. Because the game did warn you that there are, um, kind of like, disturbing scenes. I'm not sure how disturbing this can be with how simple the graphic design is, but, um, hmm. There's a balcony outside. Still got not. Uh, ooh, finally. At first, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. It always starts off like that, right? I wonder if eventually I'm going to look at one of these paintings, think there's nothing there, and then something is just going to poke its head out of there. Like, oh. Ha! I see you there, game. I see. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I'm gonna go through this door and that uh, little thing over there in the corner is gonna pop out, right? It's gonna be this little JPEG. This little GIF of a go of a uh, MS Paint ghost. That's what you're doing, right? Hmm? I... Uh, I just realized that, um... I'm starting to talk more... I, I thought... I was originally talking out of narration, but now I think I'm talking just to assuage my own uh, rising a sense of revulsion and or fear. Hear that? I'm getting a little too much into, a little too deep into the role playing. <laughs> oh look, a skeleton friend. That's two dimensional though. Cringe. I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I'm dreadfully thirsty. Do, do, do. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> that was a really cute game. That was actually really cute. I'm not gonna lie. Ink. 
not quite quenching my thirst. Taste terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. We're in room 22 already. I wonder if you could like increase your life points or if you increase your like energy bar and stuff like that. Room 23. Oh, more bones. I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I awoke today for a brief faint after from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Something tells me you have no idea what wine tastes like, my good person. I'm gonna increase the volume again on my headset. Uh ooh, more bones. Wow, a friend! There appears to be someone trapped within the friend. <laughs> a big black ball of considerable worth. Do we go left or right? Hmm. Let me go left this time. We got, uh, appears to be a man in a cage of some kind. We got more bedrooms in here. We entered through here, right? Uh, more beds. We got... This uh, feels like we're on a roller coaster of some kind, huh? It's almost like we're reaching the peak. Law reached and we have found yet another bedroom and yet more of this strange, uh, strange carpet. More bones, more doors. This is the first hallway we've met so far that has you see, game, I was expecting you to do something like that this time, so you didn't even catch me. The green ghost from earlier was much spookier. I don't think that was wine. <laughs> I don't think it was wine either, my dude. Did you hear something, chap? Uh, should I? Hmm. Something tells me I should just keep going for the doors and ignore whatever it is behind me. I just hope there are no sound cues in this game where it's like you need to know you need to hear a sound cue to know when to run. Room 32. We're actually going through these rooms fairly fast. I'm impressed. I was afraid that there would be like nothing but mini games in each room or something. Room 34. Ha, I get it. Room 34. I was kind of disappointed though. Okay. So uh, no change in demeanor. It looks like the lighting of the game has changed slightly. Uh, got some more torches here. Some more... Was that a whisper just now? Hmm. Interesting. What awaits us behind yet another door? And another door. And another door. And another door. Oh, it's so cute! So cute. Shit, man. I'm gonna go straight. I refuse to look behind me. I, re I refuse to look behind me. Oh. Okay, that's getting kind of unsettling now. It's like a Talladega Nights, you know what they say? If you're not first, you're last, so... Why should I look behind me at the people that are steadily getting closer behind me? I'm surprised you even have a life bar in this game. I wonder if one of these skeletons are going to like pop up or whatever. It's been a while since I've seen uh, any parchment paper. I wonder if the guy who came before me is still or ever or how far the guy who came before me got in this game. What would be interesting is if this was multiplayer and you could actually leave notes to other people. Try finger butthole. <laughs> Let me go look to the left, to the left. All your shit in the box to the left. Keep a little pep in your step. Are we underground? Oh, a save file? A save? You can actually save in this game. Oh, this is a safe house. Okay, that's cool. And it appears to be going further downward. 
loud squeaky noise. Getting some Left 4 Dead vibes here, except in fewer dimensions than usual. I should probably move my mic a little bit out of the way, or just move it in such a way that I don't accidentally hit it if I do have to raise my hands in horror. That would probably be a good thing to do, right? Or at least I'm gonna raise it a little bit up here. Resident Evil much? Yeah, that's what the idea. That's what I was starting to get a vibe of, too. Alright, can y'all still hear me? Cool. The mic is a little bit closer to my face, but now it's out of my... out of range of my hands. So, it should hopefully, um... should be a little bit less dangerous for my equipment now. If something were to happen to me, that would cause me to, uh, freak the fuck out. I'm still kind of, I think that save point was actually the part that unnerved me because it's like, I didn't, I wasn't expecting you able, being able to actually die in this game, you know? Room 53. <laughs> but also I'm afraid of like, my, my microphone peaking. It's not peaking right now, is it? Oh, the levels seem to be fine, it's still at the yellow zone. I wonder if there's any puzzle solving in this game. Hope there's no like... Oh wait, there's gonna be a jump scare in this room, is in this hallway, isn't there? Mm, nope. Ha! Called it! Howdy! I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. Or maybe both. Maybe both. I wonder if this game is going to pull one of those things where the uh, design of the, like the graphics and whatnot just changes. And it's like it starts off cutesy at first, but then it just becomes like unnerving. And gets like hyper realistic or something. Let's see, green ectoplasm on the ground. We're going to casually avoid that. Be this spouting, splashing, soaking, innards, ingest, invoking, nailing, never stops to choking. Oh, well, hello there. Okay, this is where the game actually begins, huh? Okay, so that's a dead end. We're gonna go over here now. That, that thing's not that spooky, but I don't want to know what will happen when it grabs me. Probably a jump scare of some kind. I hope this is not the dead end. It is not a dead... Oh, fuck my life, it is a dead end. Thankfully, I was able to run right past him on the side. Uh, I feel my heartbeat because, yeah, AI yeah, totally have a heartbeat. Um, more like, it's kind of similar to the electro currents. And there's a fucking, um, how do I, how do I run faster? I, got, I gotta run faster. Uh, running out of energy. Um, okay, cool. So we could do that. Room 64. Uh, go to here to the sides. Um, okay, cool. Ha! So, if I'm really judicious with my sprinting power, I can just sprint past most of the enemies. Uh, oh, fuck! God, that was a, that was a, um, that was a, that was a skull. A very realistic looking skull that, uh, popped, popped out of the, uh, sides, and we are still moving, still moving, still moving. Cool, huh. Uh, spooky green stuff, uh, this is getting some, giving some, uh, ghost, bus, Ghostbusters vibes. You, yeah, puking. It's a good thing I play so many FPS, game, <laughs> FPS games, and it's a good thing the uh, hitbox on my character is apparently fairly small. Given that I was able to just, like, run past, even though I went the wrong direction. Woo! Okay, so that's fun. We're in room 73. We are continuing our journey. Oh, you did not. You did. Y'all made it so that you have to go around this thing, huh? How cute. This would be a great game to play with a hard parade monitor, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh... There's no jumping ability in this game, right? Okay.
Good thing I screenshotted that uh, last note I got. I feel like it might be useful later. Or maybe it won't be and it's just there for, floor, for the flavor. There's a lot of good indie horror games because especially ones that make use of very few assets. Hey, Tear Wolf. Sorry I didn't see you there. My chat box is kind of covered by my boom mic at the moment. Uh, peaking sounds like your voice breaking, basically, and just getting super distorted. How are you doing today? Room 85? Oh, here we go again. Yep, here we go again. Hello to you, too. Alright, so... Gonna go to the left. I was able to very quickly ascertain... No! The ghost floats over the chasm! And if I recall correctly, last time I went down here, left was a dead end. So we're gonna go right this time. I am not looking behind me. Looking behind me takes up time. Time I do not have. It looks like each new room uh, refreshes my spirit, my sprint gauge, so I can just hold it down all the way to the end. No problem. Oh, fuck! Okay, what the shit? God damn it. Freaking teacup. <laughs> Freaking teacup. Glorious. Yes, totally. Totally game. Thanks, thanks for that game. Thank you so much. That's totally what I needed. A uh, nice cup of joe. Alright. Alright, cool. I'm up here, so I'm a bit little too genre savvy for this game, maybe. Room 96. Audio cues, man. Audio cues. Room 98. An endless hallway, a la Mario 64. And a save file. My save room. Chop till you drop with an axe. T uh, 100, room 100. Now just do what you did 10 more times with increasing difficulty. Is that what this game is about? I like how there's actually eye bleach in this level as well. We will make an attempt. So it took me uh, 40 minutes or so to do 100 rooms. God, how long am I going to be playing this game for? Let's do it, chat. Oh. a oh, change of scenery. Cool. Very cool. Very based. Very pog. As the zoomers like to say. That picture intrigues me. I should get my own box. <laughs> so. Uh, and a wooden bridge of some kind. I hope I didn't miss a piece of parchment just now. That'd be kind of cruel putting lore pieces on uh, putting lore pieces on things that you have to run through because you won't have time to read them so why would you do that? To do, to do, to do, to do, 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 do. Uh, oh, to do. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Nice try, buddy. I bet you there's gonna be slime at the. Oh, nope, there isn't. Hmm. Oh, this is a new room. Very nice. Very pog. Oh, shit. Oh, what fresh hell is this? This is way different from the previous rooms. Is this a abandoned hospital type area? I actually hate the abandoned hospital trope. The gym and leaf starts to freak me out. I'm getting some Silent Hill vibes here, too. 
from the uh, all metal needs a key card. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. We're gonna be doing the good old Wolfenstein slash Doom stuff now, huh? We're gonna be searching for clues and shit. Oh, what are these? Is that a fetus? Is that a velociraptor? This is what we're doing now, huh? Read. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. We have more chemicals to keep these things docile. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. Generic lab assistant. You got key card. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Hmm, that picture intrigues me. You should get your own box. Uh, what box are you referring to, actually, Tearwolf? <laughs> oh, that is not horrifying at all. I believe Subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shared, and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. Oh, snap. It's a fucking spider. Oh snap, it's a giant centipede! Oh shit, oh shit! It didn't kill me though. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, you actually regain health in this game. Huh. I am a lot less spooked out now for the exact for the reason that I don't need to try hard as much. Of course, knowing that, I'll probably still need to be careful with my sprint gauge so I don't run out. Or maybe I could just I need to just spam the sprint gauge apparently. Creepy crawlies. Oh no. Is it gonna send more after me? Is that what we're doing now? Oh god. There's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, and they're making noises, more noises now. Cool, great. Pog, very, very pog. Thank you, game. Thank you. Oh, yeah, uh, shit. That's a, that, yep. They are, they are hungry. They are coming for my flesh and bones. For my electronic impulses, because I don't actually have flesh. Nor do I have a body right now. Being a human was actually kind of fun. I'll need to try it, be, or try that again sometime. May I'll convince Professor, uh, Professor, Professor Tetsuo to, uh, turn me into a human for a day or two, or maybe a week, or three. Pog, 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 pog. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Donk, donk. Donk, donk. Donk, donk. Donk, donk. Donk, donk. Donk. I guess I see your game now, game. This is actually fairly clever. Hold up. Left, right. Left, right, right. Hmm. Okay, left, right, right. Left, right, right, right. There we go. Interesting. Cat in the box save room? Oh, I see. The cat in the box picture? It was fairly cute indeed. Okay then. 
See, that didn't work that time. Can we try harder than that, Spooky? Oh, I totally just jinxed it for me, didn't I? The fuck is this? Getting some Five Nights at Freddy's, uh... Said it? Hello. Hello. Um, hello. Uh, um. hello. Uh, yes. That was kind of bizarre. Not sure what to make of that yet. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape, but really that's not true. This place is always like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death was kind of romantic. Hmm. An escape from everything else, huh? Oh, there's another bridge at the bottom. Can you not fall to your death? Guess not. That's good to know. Oh, you whores. You changed up the puzzle. So you're going to be going left now instead of right. How nice of the game to give you a good warning beforehand, though. This looks familiar somehow. Kind of reminds me of uh, that one point and click game. So we're room 150. Keep that blood pumping. <laughs> GL Labs. Good luck, Labs. Yeah, need to adjust my back a little bit here. I gotta tell you, I am starting to sweat a little bit. I wonder if I have to take a shower after again after this. <laughs> All right then. Ha! You thought. It's kind of comforting seeing those little uh, jump scare things now, honestly. Considering how spooky everything else is. Oh, here we go again. No! We run. We keep running. The other thing about horror games is... Oh, oh, you've got to be fucking shitting me. Now I'm spooked. Turning out the lights like that. And I was about to say, right before this happened, that when you start getting used to everything that you can see, everything in the game, you stop being as scared of it, because you already are, know what to expect. I used to be scared of the dark as a kid. So you can only imagine how I feel right now. 
Locked? Oh, goodness. We have to do this again, huh? Well, at least we don't need to backtrack. This is... They're just going through all the tropes. You know, like the school after dark, the underground lab, the claustrophobic cave, all that good shit. It's also kind of hard for me to see because I do have a key light above my head right now, which is there to improve facial tracking, but it's also giving a little bit of a glare to my glasses. So it's a little bit hard to see. Well, she does not look friendly. She... But this music is, uh, vaguely interesting, actually. This music is very unfitting of the situation. I shall not be tricked. I say though, Spooky is fairly sadistic. Yeah, no kidding. Oh god, not you again! I fucking hate that thing. Give me the ghostly, cute ghost waifu again. Anything but the fucking giant ass cent millipede centipede thing. Please, give me the ghost waifu again. Oh, that's just- that's just prime. I wonder how much money Spooky spends- spends on new wooden doors each time. They get destroyed by those centipedes. Hey, Wendy! Ah! Fucking shit, really? A fuck the spider of all things? And I just when I turn my eyes away from the game. Hey, Winter, how you doing today? Oh, it's a brain in the jar. Is this Spooky's brain? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> a fucking brain in the jar, though. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Doc? Or this morning, I should say. Uh, winter. You are here. Yes, thank you. That's very useful. Thank you, map. Looks like we're about to reach floor 200, chat. Room 200, chat. So, yeah, so far, I'm actually enjoying this a lot. Enjoying this game a lot. Uh, a lot more than I expected to. I wasn't... I didn't know what I was what I was going expecting really. I now understand how it's possible to have a thousand rooms too. So we're room two hundred already. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two, but these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. Wi-Fi is a bit scuffed. Aww. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too scuffed to enjoy watching the stream. Mm, stretching back. Brain in a jar. Question. Is it sentient? Well, if it was sentient, it didn't say much, that's for sure. Let's see if we find any more brains in the jars. <laughs> oh, not another one of these things. Ah! Who goes there? Winter, thank you so much for the subscription. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for the subscription. 
the ow 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 my arms are not responding to me ow ow need to move my boot mic out of the way just so I can properly defend myself against these definite freaking ah it's completed thank goodness it's over for a time being <laughs> all right moving the mic back into position so y'all could hear my lovely voice uh i totally forgot the sequence it's a uh, forward left that was okay oh <laughs> all right let us continue our journey into the dark into this the spookiest mansion Nice try. Two hundred and seven. You are here. Oh, no. Game, game. I'm not, I'm not prepared for a Silent Hell -esque aesthetic right now. Game. And it even has the fucking rusted floors, too. Oh, they're really going hard in the Silent Hill aesthetic. Uh, next thing you know, Pyramid Head is going to pop out of fucking nowhere and start chasing me. This kind of reminds me of when I used to do urbexing with Kilo. Funny sto fun story, that one. Great, and now, oh, now we know it's going full Silent Hill. Look at this stuff. Look at this uh, grate here and also the uh, lack of visibility. Very silent, very hill. Oh god! Oh boy. Yep, the rear definitely going full silent hill up in this bitch. And they're definitely. Oh, oh my god! Oh god, I'm gonna vomit. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay. 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 Oh man, and they are getting faster, and they're getting faster, and they're getting angrier. Woo! Yeah! Oh man, I should have taken the CBD tablets before playing this game. Wouldn't that have been fun? I'm kidding, CBD does not have any uh, hallucinogens in it, and it's also perfectly legal. I think I missed a lore piece back there. Woo! I actually got my blood pumping, I like that. You see, if all jump scares could be like this, I'm not even sure, is this really a jump scare game? In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would, and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow. Ah, uh, more centipedes. Lovely. Yes, that's ju that's just lovely. And yet, you know, right now, I think I prefer the centipedes over the Silent Hill monster. Oh, man. It's not a jump scare game, it's a whole jump scare mansion. Yes, that appears to be the case. Woo! Claustrophobia intensifies. Oh, God. I thought the music changing meant that the uh, centipede was going to stop following me, but I appear to have been very wrong. Okay. It stopped following me. <laughs> oh, here we go again. With the greeny filter. Are we in fatal frame now? Is that what we're doing this time? I just got through the obvious. Oh, base is locked, of course, sure. Thanks. This is the first time I've seen a lore piece in a room like this. This was such a surprise that there would be another entry, another actual entry, one I could admire. But then, as suddenly as it came, it left, and now you disband. Your influence and inspiration will never leave me. A little bit of lag there just now.
Am I going in circles? <laughs> Fucking hell, it's always that. Every game I play, I'll go, every horror game I play, I'll go pretty well for a while, right? And then after, of course, I mean, this is fucking be like, oh, gee. <sighs> Bravo game. The good old uh, false sense of security. For making the player drop their guard for just a split second. Woo! Oh, fuck. I need a second. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> wow, that was good. The game got me good. <laughs> the game got me good. <laughs> uh. Oh, I see. That was not an avoidable jump scare. You had to get jump scared just to progress. I'm actually still kind of frazzled. Oh yeah, I forgot those things can float over chasms. If you hug the- since you can't actually fall off these things, if you hug the walls, you should be able to save some time off cornering. Oh, what the shit? Oh, ho, ho. That was very clever, game. Very clever indeed. Password pumpkin? Yeah, I'm a quarter of the way through. Is this there? Is there invisible walls in this room? Password pumpkin. And saved. That's cute. I wonder if there is a jump scare waiting in here, too. Ah, oh, fuck you, game. Fine, I'll look over behind me. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was, that, was, that was actually pretty cool. Thanks. Password pumpkin. Hmm. Let's go to the right this time. So I made through a quarter of the way through the game already? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I still haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. Also, I found a strange computer that gave descriptions of the monsters, and it seems like they're all called they're all they are called effective based on how many people they kill. Hmm. Does this do anything? Yes, hi, hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, we have to go to the left this time, right?
Mm, yeah, it appears to be the case. We go to the left this time. I think the effectiveness of the specimens is also somehow related to the souls of the people they kill somehow. Anyway, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonists will look like. I hope they're cute. Hmm. I wonder if they're cute as well. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, that was pretty clever. Oh no, no, god damn it. Fuck. Shit. Oh, you could actually just run on top of them. Interesting. My health does heal after a while though. Two hundred and seventy six rooms. Two hundred and seventy seven rooms. Two hundred and seventy eight rooms. Is it just me, or did the background music change a bit? Two hundred eighty-three. We're coming up, coming up on number three hundred, chap. And we've only been streaming for about an hour so far. I got nerves of steel. I'm not big into books. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Last ten floor or ten rooms. I don't know why I'm focusing so hard right now. I mean... There's nothing here so far. Emphasis on the word so far. I think I'm focusing... I might be focusing just because of that massive scare I got earlier. When I least expected it. In that room that just never ended. Um... Was that a glitched monster just now? Oh, what in fre- What is hap- Oh, God. Not again. Not again. Not again with the- With the walls going crazy. Please. We made a chat. We're on floor 300. We are hanging in there. Woo! An hour and 13 minutes. We're not doing so bad, I think. We're a third of the way through the game, it feels like. 
After all, this is supposed to be a thousand floors, right? One thousand floors? That's what I was led to believe, anyway. I think I'll need to readjust my uh, leap motion camera again. Or I should totally get a 3D printed choker and just wear that. Speedrunning a horror game, let's go. It's starting to look that way, honestly. We might actually finish this in one session, but we'll see. I have to go to bed a little bit earlier tonight, which is to say at the time my streams usually end, because I did not sleep very well last night. How well did I sleep last night? I went to bed at 5 in the morning, which is to say I did not go to bed last night. <laughs> so I had work at 8. Left. Okay. Left. Thank you. Lulz and a choker. Yes, lulz and a choker. Thank you for the head pads. Left. Left. Forward. Okay. Left. Forward. Left. Forward. Left. Left. Forward. Left. Right. Shit. Left. Forward. Left. Hey, Momo, how are you tonight? Left. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion tonight. Dead? Why are you dead right now? My the button I use for shift key, my finger that I use for shift key is starting to cramp up. I should probably it's probably from all that dirty bomb I played last night. Hey, this is the music, the theme music we used in the beginning in the uh, trailer, I think, right? Oh. Well, this is not spooky at all. We got some Legend of the Lost Ark. We got uh, Raid of the Lost Raiders of the Lost Ark going on here. You got some fancy masks up there. Huh? One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous. So one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. I'm very tired and got your first taste of summer heat at work. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you are able to relax from my stream, considering that I'm playing a horror game. <laughs> Just uh, checking my... the accuracy of my... Okay. But just afterwards, he came running to the river crying and reeling that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and draw dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. We got the key. Those are some rather spooky masks, I gotta say.
Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing, and as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seemed almost to look like the child missing children sometimes. Hearing your pleasant voice puts me at ease. I'm glad you think so. I've gotten a comment more than a few times, and I... I don't know, it's very flattering. I like that some people enjoy my voice. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not having this chat. I I'm not having it at all. I don't I don't like puppets. I this I had problems with Majora's mask for a similar reason. Are you fucking kidding me? Piece of shit. I'm going to stab you. Oh god, he does a lot of health damage too. He does a lot of death. I died. I actually died. Huh. Okay, you know what? No. No, 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 no. This is where I draw the line. I cannot stand stuff being stabbed into your eyes. To become a puppet is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. You belong to some... That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, no shit, right? I actually- I physically closed my eyes and looked away because... That's one of my few triggers. I cannot... Anytime I see on screen that someone's about to be stabbed in the eye or gets shit done to their eyes, I just, I just cannot stand it. I literally have to look away from the screen. <laughs> Same thing with getting your throat cut. I, I cannot... Watching people's throats get cut in movies, like in fucking Braveheart, I can't stand that. I just, like, grab my own throat, right? In real life, I just grab my own throat with my hands. I'm like... Well... I think we did pretty well for our first run, right? Uh, 300 something uh, floors. Let's see if we can continue. If we can get past this. Teleports behind you. Nothing personal, kid. Thank you for the head pats. All right, so we are back here again. I would love some ice cream. Thank you. I would love some of your ice cream, in particular. <laughs> Let's see if we can get past room this uh I guessing I'm guessing that this is like the filter, right? This is the filter for most players. They die on floor on in this section of the game. Because that was the first time an enemy did more than Aw, oh, thank you for the head pats. This is the first time that an enemy's done enough damage to like kill me almost instantly. Wiggles for safety. <laughs> My wiggles are augmented. Oh! Bullsh- fucking shit. You did not just do that. Here we go again. Yeah, unfortunately, wiggling requires a sub, I think. I believe. Alright, chat. We know what to do now, right? I think. <laughs> this time, we will not make the same mistake. We will avoid the puppet instead of going towards it. Like a dumbass. Shh. 
shit, man. He does so much damage, too, per hit. How am I supposed to... I see. So it's basically like he's basically a uh, he's basically like the uh, angels from Doctor Who. Then, weeping angel, yeah. A tear wolf. You also get triggered by ice. Me too. I was just I was just ranting just a few seconds ago about how I really hate it when eyes get affected in games and movies. I cannot stand it. <laughs> You need all the eyes on the puppet. So am I supposed to what? Am I supposed to walk backwards then? I guess that makes sense. We shall attempt it this time. Hey Asha. Oh, it's nice to see you too. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Aw, oh, thank you for the head pat. Wait a minute. This... This hallway wasn't here before, was it? This endless hallway? What the fuck? You're about to head out to touch grass? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoy your grass hunching. I'll be here for the next uh, couple hours or so. Getting spooked. Oh, I'd love my ass touch sometime. Giggity giggity goo. All right, here we go again. <laughs> Hog touching grass. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be back in an hour or two, so hopefully I can come back to watch. <laughs> yep. Should still be around around I should still be around by then. So feel free to come back sometime then. And we will be more than happy to have you. Ah! Thank you for the hydrate, Redeem. Share the ass. <laughs> Sharing is caring. <clears throat> I think some water went down the wrong circuits. This is why... Liquor cooling is dangerous. Woo! <clears throat> <laughs> Alright then. We will attempt to not have our asses touched by this uh, puppet. Pulse dies. What of it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he kind of looks like the uh, shopkeeper from Majora's Mask, doesn't he? Ah, what the fuck? It's 
Something tells me he does not appreciate the fact that I'm just walking backwards now. Oh, you can open doors from behind too. I see how it is. Is this how the rest of the game's gonna be? I just have to freaking walk backwards the whole time? Kinda cringe. Gamer strats. Uh, where's the door? Ha! Get you baited! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Now I have to do this room backwards too? It's a good thing you can't fall off into the depths. Or I would not be having a fun time. And I went the wrong direction. Ow. Okay, let's try it this one. Yeah, this would be almost impossible to play if they did not have invisible walls on the sides, honestly. I guess from the sound, the music change, that the puppet is no longer following me. Gamer strats, Majorbo's Borpo, Moonwalk to Freedom, Strat is working, Hicks takes a sippy and dies. Get your gamer blanky and your gamer plushie because you're a big gamer baby. What are gamers but big babies? I'm not gonna lie, that was actually really annoying, that pup- or having to walk backwards to escape the puppet. Oh, what's following me now? Oh no, not again, not again, not again, not again. I hate- I hate this, 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 hate, 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 This way, this way, this way, it's this way, it's this way, don't look behind, don't look behind. Oh, ah, uh, fuck, 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 can't see, can't see, running out of sprint, running out of sprint. Uh, is it left, is it right, it's left, it's left, it's left, it's left, it's left. Okay, 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 stop, game, stop, please, please, please. Okay, okay, it's simple now. I can finally catch my breath. Oh hey, it's that uh, ghost woman again. Now we're actually experiencing frame lag. Frame rate lag. Just me, or is the music becoming increasingly more distorted?
Oh, thank you, Momo. I appreciate that. Can I ask chat a, uh, their opinion really quick? What do you think I should do with a follower who regularly comes into my streams when I'm playing a fighting game tournament and just uh, constantly, like, obnoxiously cheers for the opponent, especially if I'm losing if I'm losing badly? I've been ignoring them so far, but I was wondering if I should, like... If I should, like, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Call them out on that? I think I'm actually wondering if I should, but at the same time, I get the, this is the kind of person I think just doesn't, has like next to no self-awareness. I'm just going to say right now that they're actually a VTuber, so. Um, it's not all they do. It's just that when I happen to be playing a fighting game, they constantly make the same tired jokes about uh, cheering for the other opponents to win especially if I'm losing and it's really distracting first off so I end up just like blanking out chat when he whenever he pops up is it a fucking Today I learned TIL. Today I learned that um, you can actually die just by standing in one place for too long. Great. Fuck. I have to redo those 50 levels again. <laughs> yeah, I should have probably just paused. I'm dumb. Half an hour wasted. <laughs> So the question here, Wolf, was how did, sh how should I choose to deal with a VTuber who pops into my streams when I'm in a fighting game tournament and just constantly cheers for the opponent, regardless of who the opponent is, and they especially do it if I'm losing, basically. It's very distracting. And not to worry, it's not anyone that you know in the fighting game. It's not they're not they're not in the uh, VTuber fighting game community, Discord or anything like that. The real jump scare was the friends we made along the way. I agree. Well, you telling us that you're distracted by it is exactly what we should tell them. Well, they're not a fighting game player. They don't know any of the people that I'm playing against, so it's definitely not that. <laughs> I'm fairly sure they're just doing it to be obnoxious, honestly. Knock it off, Bozu. <laughs> All right, I'll be a little bit more proactive about letting them know that that's they're not they're not being funny. They're actually being kind of annoying. <laughs> Thanks, chat. This is my chat and my stream, and only mods are allowed to abuse the ever-looking heck at me. You tell it like it is, Ace. Oh, thank you for the head pats. <laughs> All right, we get to do this again. Good old uh, Weeping Angels style.
Ow! Fucking... Ah! You tried to jump scare me and you failed because I'm facing backwards. Stop falling. Mm, still thinking an answer. Fucking still uh, think I'm thinking an answer tab said so feel the same way. Take all the time you need. And I mean I bring it up because it's happened a couple times now. I just realized that I never had a mentor figure, trial or leaving home scene. It means this story isn't following the archetypes that make me a traditional hero, which means I can be killed off. Well, it, it was nice for a little while, at least. The leaves rise up. Oh, this is cool. That's kind of spooky. <laughs> this game is gruesome. Why am I playing this? I wonder if you can actually die for staying here too long playing the arcade machines. Oh man, it's going faster, chat. I can't keep up. This is the real jump scare mansion right here. I like how the joystick actually moves along with you too. Ah! Why do I get the impression that Spooky needs to keep consuming the souls of the living or she dies? Or she goes to the afterlife, I should say. And that's the reason why you have to kill as many humans as you possibly can. What a clever way to progress the plot. Oh, now it's moving way too fast. I'm surprised I've kept stayed alive this long. Even my AI reflexes are not enough to keep up with this. This makes the turbo, turbo zone and battle toads look like a joke. I can barely even see the... I believe in me? Wow, video games do cause violence. I know, right? I'd say the Splater names in a clown's list, but that would just give them attention. Yeah, probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the real... This is the real jo Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion right here. Chat. Imagine if Jack Thompson saw this game. How would he feel, I wonder? Is it still going up to now? Oh my god. So what if I just, like, let myself die? What happens then? Oh, 
Oh, you have two. Interesting. Oh, you actually can put in a password. How do how do I how do I put in password though? So spooky cart. Let's play some spooky cart chat. Ah now this is more of my kind of game. Looks like we're driving a uh Humvee as well. Am I supposed to destroy the carts? Is this what's going on here? It is. You're supposed to be destroying the cars. Okay. Ah, I can't believe we're playing competitive uh, automobile simulator here. Looks like if you send them flying into the pine trees, they explode the pine trees as well. I wonder what happens if I actually kill all the cars. You can actually run over the pine trees as well. Based. Those are palm trees, not pine trees. Oh. Huh. I knew that. Why did I say pine trees? Does not compute. This is only stage one? <laughs> Imagine having a brain. Couldn't be me. Alright, so we need to find the remaining cars. There's one there. Five left. Can streamers offer rewards to the viewers in any way? Oh yeah, using channel points, using giveaways, using drops in the uh, in the appropriate game online game. That sort of thing. Why do you ask? I mean, I've actually did run a giveaway for reaching 200 Twitch followers and 400 Twitter followers, or not 400, um, yeah, 400 Twitter followers a couple months ago. I wrote some VTuber lore for a, I wrote VTuber lore for a VTuber, and I'm actually working on a second one for a different VTuber. Alright, cool. Uh... It's out of order. This one has a password section, but I don't know how to... Hmm. So, that's that. I appreciate that the game actually let me play the arcades without being killed. Figured you reward the cheerleaders and deny the reward to the hecklers. Yeah. Um, the channel points system is basically for that purpose. What you do is... After you, after the stream is over, or even during the stream, the either yourself or your mods can choose to accept the redeems, which deducts the points from the viewer's side, or you can reject them and it sends it back to them. That was a fun break from the main game. Not gonna lie. You love to heckle. You love to do a lot more than heckle too, if I recall correctly. Oh shit! Oh, hey again, Mr. Puppet. Fancy seeing you here. Who threw pie on my head? Thank you for the pie, Momo. I was getting kind of hungry there. Ow, shit, fuck. That hurts. That actually hurts, you bastard. Did I go the wrong direction again? Knowing me, I probably did. No, I didn't. Yep. 
You're gonna heck you? Hey. Don't get a room chat. Do it all do it all in public. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck are you gonna heck at? Or heck? What the heck, I should say. Angel shit going on here. All right, I'll go this way now. Oh, man. Ow. Shit. Again, again, but a freaking don't you dare move. Don't you dare move out of position. I told you not to move. I see what you're doing, puppet. I see what you're doing, Mr. Puppet. I went the wrong direction again, didn't I? Yeah, I went the wrong direction. God damn it. I had to go this way. Okay, here we go. Jukes, vampire survivor's time. <laughs> I wouldn't mind playing vampire survivors on stream again, but... Uh... Actually, you know, that would be a fun game to just play during a chill-out day, like on a Saturday or something. Jukes. Get juked. Get juked again. Alright, this is getting old. Mr. Puppet, can you please stop stalking me? I'm gonna file a restraining order on your ass. He refuses to stop following me. I'm calling it. This is assault. Well, no, it's not assault. It's it's um stalking. It's doxing. I it just makes me uncomfortable, and I do not like it. On the bright side, I'm really getting my uh, moonwalking game down. Who's bad? Me. I'm bad. Oh man, this is a lot of rooms. More than usual, I mean. I mean, shit, how many of these things have I gone through now? 362? Oh, I went the wrong direction. Is it over? Is he not following me anymore? Okay, go. 365. What hells await us here? I didn't expect this game to be so short, presuming it does in fact end after a thousand rooms. This is a never ending hallway. For me, I work on a game project. Perhaps I should continue on it and share updates or discussion opportunities to long-time viewers via Redeem. Any trolls could be automatically on a block list. Maybe you can devise something similar? I mean, there's actually a block list already built into the game, or built into Twitch, so... If it came to that, I literally could have someone suspended or blocked. But... 
I don't think it needs to go that far. I think that they just don't know any better, personally. But we'll see. I'll talk to them about next time if they are being obnoxious. Do -do -do. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. Gee, this looks familiar. I remember this spooking me last time. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to drop the volume of my headset down to relatively low so that the spookiness of being jump scared in this area, which I know is impossible to avoid, is not nearly as strong. Because remember, I'm more of an audio person. I get scared more of audio than I do of visuals. Of course, now that I know it's coming, it's not going to be nearly as painful. But still, it sucks. Even right now, I could feel my neck tensing and my uh, kind of chill going down my spine. It's kind of like going up a roller coaster and knowing or waiting for the drop. Oh, it didn't happen. It's probably they're probably gonna catch me again catch me elsewhere, huh? It's probably just gonna pop out of fucking nowhere and I will not be ready. Did you hear something? For me, I work on a game project. Perhaps I should Oh wait, I already read that. Day two, food supply depleted, water supply at thirty percent, mental health deteriorating, leaving this behind to help others and mark where I've been. They've only been this must be someone else if it's been two days. Oh, a new room. It has a chandelier. Lunch there. Up oh, here we go. Again with the uh, jellies, with the slimes. Well, they're not really slimes. I guess they're closer to ghosts. And that's just ectoplasm? Because they aren't stopped by things like the ground. So what would your theme be if you described it in one word? Uh, do you mean my VTuber theme? Or do you mean my music theme? Musical theme? VTuber theme? I'm technically a cyberpunk VTuber. It's just that my the aesthetic of my design does not lend itself to the typical artificial intelligence cyberpunk trope that most people think of. And I guess part of that is because my design, the design I went with is partly influenced by the LGBT nature of the BBS text board that I grew up on, Danger You. So it is cyberpunk, but in a manner that's decidedly different from most. I wouldn't even call it a vaporwave aesthetic, even though that's probably kind of close given my color schemes, but softboy AI, I guess that works. Soft, because you know, soft boy AI might actually work just for the fact that that seems to be a common comment I get. A lot of people seem to think that I'm relaxing to listen to. And I've, another VTuber who was reviewing my uh, VODs commented on stream that they think I'm a very so I'm kind of a soft spoken type VTuber. I honestly can't tell, but apparently, people I get that impression. A lot of people give me that impression as well. So, I'm going to steal that from Steel. Of course, leave it to my lovely uh, mod to think up a great, uh, a great theme. Aislinn said shitposting and S S Scarlet said softboy AI. We made it, chat. We made it to room 400. We s softboy sounds good. Sometimes I'd like to describe myself as a femboy, so softboy. Fairly accurate also, I'd say. Prediction result is yes. What was predicted? 
Were you guys predicting if I would make it to floor 400? <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Meme AI wear. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. I think we we have about an hour left of stream, so I'll leave it up to you all. This has been a pretty harrowing experience so far for the last two hours. Would you all like to try and uh, make it to room 500 in the last hour of play, or would you like to do something else for tonight? Because, unfortunately, I will be cutting us exactly at midnight tonight, my time, which is in the next hour, because I really need to catch up on my sleep. My sleep schedule has been shit. I started coming down with some kind of illness that I did not want that uh, with an illness last week that I prefer not to go into go into any great detail of but uh, needless to say my immune system is crap right now so uh whatever we do it will I will need to stop the stream exactly an hour from now or thereabouts you know will lulls make it to 20 versus zero channel points <laughs> chat do y'all want to continue the game or should we do something else for the last hour or so of a uh, stream thank you for the headpads oh thank you Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Room 400, though. We're about fourth. We're like a... You think I, we should do what... I, you think I should do what I want to do? Hmm. There better not be nausea I'm feeling right now. Um, in that case, I think it'd be... Hmm. Nah, fuck it. Let's try and reach 500. And with our luck, maybe we'll finish the game by next session, right? Oh, man. I think the... I'm actually, you know what? I'm not sure if I should now because... I think uh, going through all those rooms is starting to give me... Nah, fuck it. Aw, oh, steel. <laughs> Alright, room 500 or bust. Let's see if we can make it in the last hour or so. Oh. Threshold of consciousness? That's not- Oh my god! It's a cat. It's a cat. I will avoid the cat. Did I say the sound design in this game is, is amazing? Because it really is. Another secret lab? We're doing this again? Actually, the way these walls look reminds me a lot of Wolfenstein 3D. Hmm. Can't go through there. Talk to the cat? I refuse. The cat is probably a spy. Tear wool? Oh, what is that, though? It sounds like a giant clock. It probably is a giant clock. Broken. What in... What in the Omnisai's great... World Wide Web is this? 
What is happening here? What the fuck am I supposed to do? What are these things on the ground? What the fuck was that? Ah, glory to the machine spirit. Be who you are to others. Put on your mask. Be who you are to others. Ah, uh, that's the corporate lie for you. This looks like my old office. I'm kidding. It does not, in fact, look my old like my old office. Up oh, here comes the centipedes again. Some things will never change, it seems. Ow! Oh, for fuck's sake, game! Oh my god. Oh man, this is actually kind of cool. This is actually this is actually a really nice room. Oh man, I'm tripping out, my dudes. I'm tripping out. I refuse. I am not talking to the cat. I'm not redoing 21 rooms. I'll talk to the cat. The cat, the cat doesn't do anything. The cat's just a cat. Oh, bloody walls there. Oh my God. There, wait, wait. Is there, is there, is there no other way? What the fuck is this? Where, where do I go? Okay, so you can walk around the cat. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh, oh my god. What is happening? The fuck is that? I'm at the threshold of consciousness. Consciousness, all right. Oh, he wants to have, I, he wants to uh, have a contract to meet with me. I don't know what game this is inspired from, but it's very inspired. I really like the aesthetic. Actually, kind of reminds me of Dagen Rapa a little bit, or Madoka Magica. Actually, that's a good point. It does remind me of Madoka Magica a little bit too. The, we are at the threshold of consciousness, so I guess that makes perfect sense, right? Almost 450, let's go. I had a weird ass cat from. Hicks, do you think love can bloom in an Arby's parking lot? I think so. Is that where you want to meet? Is that where you want me to meet you? I didn't notice it before because it's really dark in here, but I think those uh, weird symbols on the uh, walls are changing into an evil and angry face. Boss blush? Mm -hmm. 
What was that noise just now? 444? Oh gee, I just realized I'm undergoing a sensitive health issue at the moment, and I should probably avoid the jump scares until it settles, so I'll have to bail. Oh, no problem, Tear Wolf. I would much prefer that you keep yourself safe and not injure yourself um, from the jump scares in this game, because there's some pretty nasty ones that I've experienced so far. I don't think you were here, or you might have been lurking, but I just there was one that got me so bad I literally stopped, and I like shoved myself backwards in my chair. No problem. You have a good night, and I'll see you next time. We'll be streaming at the same time on Wednesday, the usual outward. Yeah, please don't die from watching a, let's, watching a stream of a spooky game. <laughs> We're about to make it. We've made it to room 450, and we need to run because there are centipedes behind us. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh no. Here we go again. Yep, it's this one. It's this one. It's this room. A uh, tear wolf, if you haven't looked away already, you will want to look away. This is the room. This is the room with a really bad jump scare. I fucking hate this. Even knowing that it's coming, it's... There it is! Ha! Huh, I survived this time because I knew it was coming. But the doors didn't open, which means it's probably going to come again. It's one of these fucking doors, I swear to god. Yeah, as I thought... Turning down the volume made that jump scare hurt a lot, le a lot less than it did the first time. Of course, a lot of things hurt a lot less the first time, don't they? Alright. Headphones are back to full volume strength. Let's keep going. 461? Hmm. We might actually make it to 500. First times are magical. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. Something is sus. There we go. Oh no, not this one again. Stop, game. You, you gotta stop that. It's not funny. I literally can barely see. Thank you. Oh no. This is truly what they would call vomit inducing. Now, if I remember correctly, it should be on the left side. I was wrong. It is no longer on the left side. We'll have to juke this guy now to not die. Ha! We are still alive somehow. But only for a time being. If I don't make it to that door soon. Okay, we made it. What the fuck is that? Oh, nice try. Now there's several of them chasing me.
Something's still following me, right? Yep, the green one. The green gobbledygook is following me this time. Alright, it should be right side. Once again, I am fucking wrong. It was not the right side, it was the left side. Alright. You better prepare your butthole then. Oh no. If you get to 500, I'll touch Love Tech's butt. I guess we are doing some. I guess we are all doing. We're doing a. Uh, we're um, doing a threesome tonight, huh? 496, 497. Four ninety-eight, four ninety-nine. All right, it's time for you to put out Momo. Password is cheese. I am not fleshy. Excuse you. Password is cheese. You gonna touch my butt with your butt? That does. Uh, that that uh, set of uh, floors actually took a lot less time than I thought. Only took uh, 16 minutes. With that, I'm actually going to go take a quick break. I need to use the restroom. And I'll be right back, chat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm back, chat. Did you miss me? Indeed. There is much shit in Enfarden to be had. Much. It was a, I would say it was an 8 out of 10 piss. Nothing too special. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> uh, somehow we made it to floor 500. I asked chat again, do you think I should continue to play or should I save more for next Monday? So I was planning on popping them Dirty Bomb to uh, blow off some steam. I was going to pop some sleeping pills and gradually let myself fall, uh, get sleepy. So I basically be playing Dirty Bomb with a handicap more or less. The handicap being, being sleep to being sleepy, and sleep deprived.
We can continue playing though. It's just that I didn't expect this game to be so short. Presuming it is in fact short, of course. I have no reason to believe that this will actually end after a thousand floors. I am curious what's at the end of the uh, long maze of tunnels though. Okay, let's uh, see if, how much farther we can get in 40 minutes. Otherwise, I might have to take a break to play some, get some FPS goodness out of the way. Oh, this is immediately different. Thank you for coming, everyone, by the way. Y'all know I always appreciate your presence, and not gonna lie, playing this game has been a lot less stressful because of an audience. Which might seem back words to some people, but that's how I feel about horror games. And that's how I feel about streaming in general. Prior to streaming, I actually kind of burned out of video games and as a whole. I rarely finished anything, if ever. Doing it with streaming... Wait, what the fuck? Room 56? What do you mean, Room 56? Don't tell me we started, down from, started from the beginning. This is a joke, right? The game's gotta be screwing with me. What the fuck do you mean? Wait, is this getting meta again? Is this getting meta now? Is this doing the thing where it's like, oh, it turns out that the game is actually an ARG and you're actually you're actually in the game itself or some shit like that. Express tunnel? What is this? Spooky's jump scare like freaking Room 512. Oh, I see. It was a little bit meta. It was it was um that was a little in that was a little in joke that it just did, right? Yeah. Very clever storytelling. I like the humor this game has. Uh we're all purple now. I can't believe we're in the five nights of Fred Freddy's again. We're gonna be facing off against the purple man. Another brain in the jar. Do you want my glasses? Why don't you take them off my face? <laughs> Alright then, we're at room 520. You know what? I just realized we forgot, we missed a chance to go blaze it on 420. Smooth brain, cute brain, no ugly wrinkles. <laughs> I have the smoothest of brains. Locked. Cringe. Me. Breathe in, breathe out. Ow. Thank you for throwing something in my face, Love Tech. Let me see your brain. Open me up. Why don't you open me up and take a look for yourself? God damn it. If it's cute, you'll give me some brain. <laughs> Giving a new meaning to the term brainlet.
Oh, what fresh hell is this? Oh my goodness. I was wondering when there was going to be a scene change. For a while, I thought I had really escaped this place, but despite the trees and flora, I think this is actually just another room. I did, however, find deer, so I might at least get to eat. They make some strange sounds, though. I'm actually Hicks main maintenance gal. You can tell him all about my brain. Too true. <laughs> mm. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, God. The deer. The deer are bad. I don't know what they are, but those are definitely not deer. I tried sneaking up on one the other day to kill for food, but it saw me as soon as I got close. I was barely able to get away from the thing. I managed to board up most of them. Hopefully, I can find another way out of here. Yep, that's those are definitely not deer. Take the axe. Hey! It's an FPS now. Huh? Oh. I don't think you can kill the deer. I stand corrected. You can, in fact, kill the deer. Do I have to fucking suffer a jump scare every time I kill the deer? Is that what we're doing? Can I just avoid the deer? Oh, what the shit? This is some Neon Genesis stuff going on here. Okay, once, once more, once more. Oh, okay, so if you time it, you can actually... Okay, that's what we're doing now, huh? Join up. Uh, the thing said join us or something? Okay, if I just do it... There we go. The... It's hard to aim this axe because the the hitboxes are straight. I can't believe I'm actually talking about hitboxes in fucking Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Join submit. I like where this is going. Now it's. Go I like the kink. I, I, getting some uh, erotic hypnosis up in here. Join and submit. Yes, yes, it did. Pick up the strange key. Submit to the dick. Oh, uh, using the axe actually requires energy. Oh, you can actually hold it down. Okay. So that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be holding it like this. Uh, I don't know what that thing is, but submission is. Oh no 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 no! That this is not Jaiba. <laughs> Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> no! I don't! I don't do this! I'm sorry to kill you, dear. Leave me alone! <laughs> 569. We've just passed a sexy number. 570. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. Oh, thank God, I don't need to run. I don't need to escape from the deer thing in this room. They left, left, left. Ah. <sighs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, 
I'll be okay. There are very few things that legitimately scare me anymore. Like, I used to be scared by zombies and now I'm fascinated by zombies. I used to be scared by natural weather phenomena and the dark and now I like both those things. But one of the things that still definitely gets me is that, that specific kind of horror where it like distorts the world around you and has this really distorted like voice and has this whole thing where it starts fucking with your eyes. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 right. I'm supposed to take I'm supposed to pause. Yeah, fuck. And away left. <gasps> oh god damn it. After we do that whole section now. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to do the fucking deer section again. <laughs> uh, why am I so dumb? <laughs> Oh, let's get over with. Spooky, I'm gonna fuck your skull. I'm not having a good time right now, Dad. I'm at this actually, this game is starting to break me. Alright, let's do it. We're almost to the end of it. Might as well finish up, finish this up. Oh, for fuck's sake, you? Again? I hate the puppet. Truly, I do. It looks- and also this confirms my suspicions that this game is randomly generated after all.
Here we go again, chap. Where's the axe? Game, where's the axe? Give me the axe. Thank you. Except now I had to know how to properly use it. Oh, fuck me. Fifty more floors. We can do it. Come on. Come on. Not that bad. Come on. Not that bad. Normally I find this sort of thing kinky, but not right now. Not right now. I don't think you'll like my flesh. I'm not made out of meat. I'm made out of silicon and electrical impulses. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Is it gone? What the fuck? Oh, fuck you too.
The wrong direction. Well, I'm beat. I am all gamed out. God damn this game. I'm legit burned out. Somehow did 600 floors in a single session. It's not even been three hours. I'm tempted to play another 100 floors, but I'm honestly kind of burned out. That Tear thing hit me or it hurts. I'm not gonna kid. I'm not gonna lie. It just had the Ava one sort of has a perfect combination of stuff that just kind of spooked the shit out of them. And in this case, that thing was definitely my uh, kryptonite. Also, we have to save some content for next Monday, right? What the fuck is that? Better ingredients, better pasta. That's the power of the Home Depot. At least I have a weapon now. So. Um. What should we do for the last 15 minutes of stream? Just chatting. We got some more ad we're going in, coming in for this Wednesday. Let me make sure we saved. We got some ad we're continuing this Wednesday. We're going to be. We are made it back to Churzo back to Churzo last time. So we're going to run a couple errands down there. And then we're going to make our way back to the marsh. Learn a few more skills. Well, actually, no. I think I'm going to go to up. I might try to scale um, the purple mountain and learn some magic. High impact fishing. <laughs> like the part that takes place after the mansion? Build your own mansion sounds fun. Do you think the algorithm is going to fuck me over if I don't stream for a full three hours? It does feel like streaming for more than that um, does something, but I'm not sure what. I mean, I guess it would be in Amazon's best interest to encourage longer streams so they get more ad revenue. Ad revenue. Ad I can't talk right now. So they get more ad revenue out of it. For now, though, definitely need a break. Let's go ahead and end off tonight's session with a couple games with Dirty Bomb, shall we? Oh, I'm not going to bed just yet, Momo. I will be in a few minutes, though. I'm going to give you a hug back. Thank you for the hug. We are going to instead play a different game for now. I'm going to play some Dirty Bums.
<laughs> oh, thank you for the head pat. I think 3D Bomb should run okay with my avatar in the background. Emphasis on the phrase should, though. So, you know, this is used as Unreal 3, and you know how janky that can be. We will, of course, continue this game next Monday. But after dealing with the freaking deer person, I had to take a break. I was at my breaking point to begin with. I don't usually play games that center around jump scares, you know? Good old dirty butts. While we're waiting for Dirty Butts to load up, let me do a couple lessons to Duolingo. Because Dirty Bomb sure likes to take its sweet time. Some things never change, honestly. There we go. Took a while, but it's finally loading up. I wonder how bad the lag's gonna be on this. Bad the lag's gonna be, if any, though. Let me just crank this uh, lesson out really quick. And we will get started. We're probably only gonna get be able to get like a couple games done before the end of the stream tonight anyway. Alright, the daily Duolingo has been dailied. 956 day streak. I should probably do another one just in case. Close. Armory. I played this game a couple days ago and I unlocked another cool, a cool case. How many weapon case keys do I even have? 0.7 to get a psychedelic? Hmm. Gotcha elements. Let's see what we get, chat. Uh, it's another bronze, but it is a bronze. Oh. A PDP. Is that a PDP? It is. It's fairly nice looking, though. Unfortunately, I don't use the PDP, so it's of little use to me, but not a bad gun. Not a bad gun at all. Actually, I guess I could use the PDP better than I can the uh, Felix, just for the fact that it is a semi it is not bolt action, it's semi-automatic. But it does kick like a mule and makes my already terrible sniping skills even more terrible, if you can believe it. It's been a while since we've played the game where you can actually use the Choose My Hero redeems, but if you would like me to play a specific character, be my guest. There's a whole bunch to choose from. Practice complete. Alright. Let's focus. Let's go ahead and play server browser. See what servers are open right now. Miss Trix is open right now, but it's a stupidly high ping. 
USE play dirty is pretty is has around eight players. That'd be interesting. Bonk Fun House is already full, so I can't play there right now. Unless someone drops. Unlikely though. Looks like we're playing on attack today, chat. At least for this game. First, repair the EV and get it to the GH building. <laughs> then, breach the containment lab. Finally, get the override cores to the container. OCB? People with that tag still exist? Interesting. Repair. I don't have an engineer for with me for once, and I usually main engineer. But who am I going to start off with first? Should probably practice already. Oh man, the lag's insane. Looks like trying to run my model and also this game at the same time may have been a mistake, but we will see. Did it not launch? We got Fragger, an Engineer, a Javelin, and no Medic. And a Phantom. Glorious. Just glorious. More ammo here. I don't feel like playing Medic right now though. Bitch ass. Something tells me using this model and also trying to play Dirty Bomb was a terrible idea though. You know, just in the, just the... Just the... Impression. It's playable, even if it does lag a little bit. Ammo, 
Drones on the way. Ah, I didn't switch in time. Thanks, Doc. Pew 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 pew. Pew 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 pew. Yeah. Sorry, chat. I had to have a taste cleanser for the fight for that uh, horror game just now. Sadly. And what better taste cleanser than Dirty Bomb, which I decided to start playing again? Bad. We has override cause. Goody gumdrops. Goody gumdrops. Let's see how bad I did though. Six out of twelve. So, 0. 0.5 KDR. Not the worst I've done, I suppose. Could always be worse. You know what? Fuck it. Play one or two more games. Unless this, uh, the remaining players decide to tap out for the evening. It is 12 midnight here in the Midwest. I want to play at least one full game. Would be fun. Hmm. Can I can I do decent as cure for once? I'm gonna guess no, but we will try it at anyway. We're not I don't want to really try hard today anyway, as far as gameplay. Hola. Hola. I'm gonna keep Amy there.
Kira is decent on this map. Oh shit, we're on attack. I should have brought an engineer with me after all. Indeed it is. Dropping camera Q. You said thank you. Ah, already got a kill. That was unexpected. Damn, couldn't stab him. Looks like I was right to put a snitch camera up there, though. It's just not all bad. We actually managed to repair the EV in record time, all things considered. All things considered. Now it's gonna be a little bit harder. Just keeping that thing repaired. Oh shit. Oh, I got burned to death. I got mollied. My conager is the powerhouse of the cell. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. I need to stop. Stop flinching when you snipe. Such a bad habit. Some habits just die hard, I guess. I can't believe we're actually pushing. Then again, we have some decent people on our team. So, I'm not too surprised. I can't- I should be more surprised that I'm not volunteering right now. Playing sniper on offense is cringe and unbased, but I try.
like I said, cringe and unbased. <laughs> Looks like my snitch is doing its job of revealing the enemy. Good. Now, if my aim would be better, that'd be great. We can't always get what we want, though. Did they kill my... I think they did. I heard something explode. No, it's actually still there. Cool. Which means it's debu actively debuffing people and also revealing them, which should be helpful to the team. If you suck at sniper, you should at least be using your abilities as soon as they recharge so you can... So you can be a credit to the team, especially since sniper abilities actually reveal the enemy, which is very helpful. Bit of fuck is shooting us from behind. Should have used heavy attack. My bad. Actually, we got pretty far. All things considered. I'm not going to say we're stomping the team because we really aren't, but we're not doing that badly. All things considered. Seriously, dude? Do you not notice us there? Oh man, they're already... Already trying to disarm it. It's time to switch to Cure, actually. There we go. That's more like it. Damn it. Still got me. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Even after all these years, Dirty Bomb is still gets your blood pumping in a different way. Yeah, if only my tracking could get better. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Now it's not bad at all. Pulls you should lurk. Am turtle of fish prey and work? No problem. No problem at all. I'm not going to be around much longer anyway, so... 
Have a good day at work. GGGs. <laughs> GGGs. No work only, internet if only. No work only, internet if only. <laughs> All right, one last game, I swear. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much for your lurks and for coming to today's stream. One last game and then we'll go ahead and raid someone. Thank you, Winter. I shall try. Eh. Nah, we'll call it a night. Since everyone's heading out already. <laughs> I did say I was supposed to leave strictly at midnight tonight anyway. So we better make good on my promise. Let's find someone to raid. Orion is going back into practicing Guilty Gear Strive. Deep Rock Galactic going on over there in Jake Light's stream. Hideo Kitsu is playing Call of Duty Black Ops. Some new files. Shika Shika is playing Fortnite. Yeah. Who to choose? I actually don't know who to choose then. Let's see if we should... Maybe we should raid someone new for once. Hmm? Browse. Live channels. Sort by viewers low to high. Search tags. VTuber. Playing Dead Cells. Marvel's Spider-Man is actually a fairly decent game. Valorant, Fall Guys, Conan Exiles. Oh, that's interesting. Conan Exiles is a rather mature rated game, so I'm surprised someone's even streaming that. Looks like uh, they have English and Japan listed under their tags, too. I wonder if they speak Japanese. Oh, they're from Indonesia. I see. They have a cute avatar. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and hold this person over here as a possible. Okay. I think I'm gonna farm on my. Oh my god, that hurt. So we're gonna hold this person over here as a possible possibility. What else we got here? We got some place. This was since a Korean VTuber playing Apex Legends. So I think this is Thai playing Genshin Impact. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. This person's not a VTuber, they're a Meat Space Tuber. Master Duel to Rear Diamond. Hmm. Not seeing anyone else that tickles my fancy. Let's go ahead and raid K Show. I feel like I've seen this person on Twitter before. Hmm. 
probably pops up at least once or twice. Just gonna make sure they're not going to sleep anytime soon. Anything towards me? It doesn't look like it. Prepare for the big drop. Raid. Come here, boy. Shoe. Oi, 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 oi. You got no chance, mate? Oh, really? Really? Huh? Huh? I hope we don't disturb him while he's trying to uh, fight off these two invaders, but okay. he looks like he's being ganked. Oh, no. This is unfair, Indeed bro. it is. Let's give him some moral support chat. With the usual... <laughs> Lulz raid. We are fighting together. We are alone. What the fuck? You ready? Thanks for coming to today's stream as usual. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. Ah, you got no chance, mate. Hmm. That's what you get for messing with me. Huh. Why do I have to? I don't want your freaking bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna heal.